So if you put some silicone dots, some hot glue dots underneath this, you make the perfect liner even more perfect. <laughs> Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today, well, I have a few people watching this channel quite often and those few people have been growing. So right now we're almost in 14,000 subscribers, which is, yes, I'm really, really happy about it. But one of my subscribers is Franco Sorella. Franco told me the other day that a lot of his friends have been asking which MyFit liners are the best. Well, check what I did. I guess these are all the MyFit liners that you can get. So right here, you have the skinny boy. Here, you have the fat boy liner, the one that comes on the Montreal Livingston skates. Here, you have the second skin. Here, you have the crown liner. And here, you have a recall liner. So I'm gonna start with the recall liner. And the reason why I'm gonna start with the recall liner is, you're gonna read on it fat boy. If you buy a recall liner, it doesn't say fat boy. But this is a sample that I got here. And I also start with this because it's one of my favorites. Basically, this liner is really similar to this. This one, the recall liner, this, the fat boy. Main difference on these two is the foams. The foam on this liner, it's not just heat moldable when you put it in the oven. It's also heat moldable just with the temperature of your body. I actually made a video about this. So if you go down in this channel, you'll find a review about this liner, the My Feet Recall Liner. This one, the Skinny Boy, well, it's been on top of the game for almost three years now. They made it in different colors and they actually put it in a lot of the Power Slide and USD skates. The other difference other than the foams on this is that the Recall Liner comes with lacing on top and that's what makes this liner one of my favorites. The Recall Liner is as thick as the Fat Boy, which means that it's a super supportive liner. And then it has the lacing system on top. This is the liner that I prefer to use if I'm using a hard boot big wheel setup. If I'm gonna be using my 125 Power Slide Imperials on any other hard boot like the Power Slide Cans or something that I'm gonna be making a review tomorrow. Let me show you. This. This is the cheapest skate that I sell in the shop and it costs around 70 bucks, but that's the video for tomorrow. When I use a big wheel setup with Art Boot, that's my favorite liner. Why? It's thick, the foams will mold to my feet every single time that I put them on and it has a lacing system. My feet recall liner. The fat boy, you already know. So this one, it's the skinny boy. And the skinny boy is a liner that has been coming on all the A and since the beginning. I think that's one of the only skates that come with this liner. Almost like a fat boy, but then the top is a little bit slimmer than a fat boy. And it also, it also has the lacing system. Let me compare it with the fat boy just for a second. Yeah. Also another difference that it has with the fat boy is that the fat boy has a, the front part is all like a sleeve. The tongue is shorter on the fat boy compared to the thong on the skinny boy. So that's probably one of the reasons why I like the fat boy better than this one. But this one is slimmer than this. And there are some skates that I don't like to use with a thick liner. And that's when I go with this. This is actually my favorite liner when I don't need that much support. It's super slim and I just love it. It doesn't have a lacing system because it's not the latest version. I know there's a, a version that came after this one, which is the version that comes on the new Aeons, the 20 years edition. Some of those skates, like the Albert Huys and um, the Billy O'Neills, they come with basically the same liner, but with the lacing system on top. Well, that's, that's just the best. For aggressive skating, it's my favorite because I like to feel what I'm doing. I like to feel the grinds. I like to be, I don't know, man. I think I like to be more connected to the outside of the shell boot, if that makes sense to you. And that's why I like a slim liner on aggressive skates. So second skin, it's my favorite liner for aggressive skating. Last liner, this one, crown liner. It's for sure the most technologically advanced liner for sure. I also made a review about this one. I made a few comparisons. I even skated this one with the Razor Skate. Let's start with the toe area, which is expandable. It's dual sized, which means that you can stretch it. Then it comes with Velcro, 
with a shock absorber. All the back area has some silicone dots, which makes it stay in the right position. It has this part, kind of like a, a Valkyrie-ish cuff that you can put outside the liner to give it more support. On the inside of the tongue, you can take some plastic to give some extra stiffness. It has a lacing system. It is basically, it's not basically, it's actually the most complete liner that you'll find. It has a little bit of everything that you can find. It has some protection for the side, for the cuff bolts. It is cool. It's a little bit too much for me. I'll go with four big wheel skates. That's my favorite liner and that would be one thing that I would change in this. So basically this is a dual size liner, which I love because it makes me feel super snug. It pushes my heel against the back of the liner and I love that. But the material used underneath is a little bit slippery. So how can you fix that? How do you call that? Hot glue? You know those hot glue guns? One of those things that put like some silicone glue. I don't know if it's silicone glue or hot glue or whatever. You just put some dots of hot glue underneath and these will be grippy on the boot. The reason why I say it's slippery is like sometimes I can feel that my toes can move against the bottom of the skate. So if you put some silicone dots, some hot glue dots underneath this, you make the perfect liner even more perfect. That's it. Just to remind you, these and these are my favorite ones. Second Skin and Rico Liner. These two, best liners out there. Something that you should know is that all these liners are heat moldable. What does it mean, heat moldable? Basically, you put these liners in the oven at 80 degrees for five minutes. I would start by three minutes because some ovens are different from others. 80 degrees, then put them back in the skate, tight the skate as much as you can, and just let them cool down with your foot inside. They will mold to your foot. The recoil liner will mold to your foot even without this. But if you need some major changes, if you need some major molding, that's the way to go. Something that you should also know is that the insoles on these liners are not heat moldable. They come with really good insoles, but you cannot compare with these. And that's a super fit insole. But this super fit insole would cost you around 50, 60, even 70 bucks because this is the carbon one. So it's probably, it's probably even heat moldable. I need to check because it's carbon, it's probably heat moldable. It's a different thing, but if you're looking for comfort, yes, my fit liners will work amazing even with the insoles that come on it. This is for some extra performance, which I clearly needed in my last video when I did the marathon. If you don't understand why I'm saying I clearly needed one of these, well, maybe watch yesterday's video. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me some thumbs up if you like it. Give me some thumbs down if you didn't. Let me know what you didn't like about this video and Tomorrow, don't miss this one. Give me a second. I'll be making a review about this one tomorrow. So don't miss this one. These ones are the most affordable skates you'll find. Will they work? Well, I'll let you know tomorrow. Now, what I always say, just don't forget why we all started skating. Because it's fun. Cheers, guys, and see you soon.